talking to Levi from Miss May I, we're pretty excited to have a chat to you guys. The build up in Australia is going fairly well, especially with the tour coming up, but especially with the new album that's dropped. How are you feeling about it? Oh, I'm stoked. The tour looks like it's, um, it, I'm stoked. We haven't been to Australia since 2012. So, um, it's been found late, and I, I just, I just can't wait. It's, um, I, yeah, I think like, it, it's been one of our best places and it, it's been crazy that we haven't been back in so long. And with the response we have to go on this new record, it's, it's awesome that this came up that we got to do this. Yeah, so the new album is out right now. Um, it's become pretty much uh, an overnight sensation for you guys. Is this, well, it's basically what you wanted, right? Yeah, I, I feel like every band, especially like, we've been to the record, every band wants it to, you always want to re release the record and everyone be like, this is your best. You're always trying to beat yourself every record, and um, which I think is always the hardest thing. And obviously you have some fans that like and dislike records, but this one's been received so well that it was like, just it's just, it, yeah, it's just crazy. It's, it's definitely, um, we're head over heels of how the response has been. Well, yeah, this is album number six for you guys. It seems like you've got a good formula yeah. and you're sticking with it and it's working well. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we, we try to change it up. We there's, a lot of, there's actually a couple songs on the record about that, about how we've been sticking with what we want to do because <laughs> we've definitely went through some ups and downs sticking with what we want to do and definitely went through a lot of trials and seen a lot of our friends' bands come and go. And uh, mm. So it's definitely been scary seeing that happen around us and still wanting to be the kind of band we are and um, sticking true to the sound and to survive through it. It's, just been, it's, it's pretty crazy. That's, yeah, we, we uh, under fire, actually, on our new record. That's what it's about. All right. So is there a solid theme coming from this album? We've had a listen, but coming from an artist's perspective is a whole different story. Yeah, um, the, the biggest theme on this record is just talk, it's talking about sort of like the, the trials we have went through as a band. And that's, there was, there was no theme sort of when we started it. And the theme came about um, after, afterwards. We were just, we were spending a lot of time in the studio on this one, longer than we've ever spent um, in the studio. And we just, we were going through a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And I feel like subconsciously it sort of uh, brought up all this dirt because we were, it was sort of like a big breakup we were going through internally with the band <laughs> behind the scenes. Nothing like within the band members, but like other people we were working with, blah, blah, blah. And, um, it was bringing up all this dirt, and it was actually great because it brought up all these old emotions and sort of like things we went through, and we sort of just mm. wrote songs about them because those are the things we were arguing about going through the emails with while we were doing this record. And then at the when the record was over, and we we're listening through it and thinking about like, wow, what did we actually write about? And we listened through it, we're like, wow, this is sort of just like a documentation of the changes, changes Miss May has been through, and sort of um, the trials we went through, and. Hmm. Uh, and it was cool, and that's why we wanted to call Shadows of the Side, because it's sort of like our whole path in one big 10-song, 35-minute jam. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I've got to go back and listen to it again. I mean, of course I will, but yeah, there's um, always great backstory there. I mean, this is album number six for you guys. Do you have a formula for just, you know, going in the studio and knocking it out, or is there a solid album-building process going on here? Uh, we never have a formula. We have a process, though. We, we've tried formula, actually. Like, <laughs> we definitely like the dissected songs and then and looked at EPMs and notes and keys and all that stuff to sort of scientifically approach songs. And it's just it it sounds so fake and not genuine when you do that. And uh, so we went that route and didn't enjoy it. And yeah, I, I think just going back to our original just process off the formula and just sort of vibe it out and have um all our process is sort of just dj and dustin starting with risk and it's all about the risk in this may i we when we go into a record we usually have this drop box of like 50 or 60 just risks just ideas for songs they can either be 20 seconds or three minutes or, or they, they range from all over the place and we just that's where the all of miss may i's like start so we already have a list bank of like 12 songs already for whatever we're going to do next. Oh, hell yeah, Anytime that's... we have an idea, we just, we all get together and we rip it out. And then the lyrics come very, very last. Everything, everything, it's all about the guitar. Huh. See, that's interesting. A lot of articles I was reading about you guys are saying that you are vocally driven and it's all about the vocals and the experience coming from the vocals. Oh. 
That's great. Hey, I, I, I appreciate that. I, we, I've never, I've always wanted to have a song that started with just the lyrics, and we've tried it before, and it, it just didn't sound right. So, mm. I, at least for me, and the, the way I'm describing it right now, at least the process of building our songs, maybe, maybe it's a final, I guess, product that could be vocally driven, but the process of building it, there's no vocals until <laughs> like the last two weeks of the studio. It's all just like right now. I'm actually excited because we've been sending just to do exciting whatever like random songs here and there. We've been sending around uh, some guitar riff bank stuff to different people at the label, and I'm really excited because it sounds crazy already. <laughs> that, no, that's good news. <laughs> we always want you know more. Yeah. Everybody always wants more. Uh, but yeah, for the moment, we will have to be content with the new album that's out right now. And yeah, the tour as well. We're so excited for the tour. You guys are going to be in the country from the 20th to the 26th. Brisbane, Newcastle, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Perth. This is a huge tour. Yeah, yeah. We're, I wish we could stay longer. I, um, <laughs> it was up to us to be there for a week. We're, we're excited. We wanted to hit everywhere. We wanted to make up for lost time. Well, yeah, uh, well, we were talking about this the other day, actually, that most international tours cover Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. It's three dates. It actually makes sense, but, um, yeah, it's like a day on a plane to get here to play a couple of dates, but you guys are stretching it out longer, which is fantastic. Yeah, hey, we, like, like I said, it, it, we'd make it longer if we could. I know we're going to uh, shop the news right after there, and we just keep adding days because we're like... We want to make all these places you never get to play. When we actually get there, we want to make up for a lot of time and really dig deep and play places that never really get shows. Well, yeah, that's what most of Australia is crying out for, I think. <laughs> hey, I'm excited. And I sort yeah. of forget all the the great Australian experiences. So it's been it's been so long that I need a refresher. Absolutely. Oh, dear. Well, yeah, going back home for a sec, I'm always interested to know what is going on in your local scene. How is the American music scene going at the moment? It's really cool. There's like a metal revival going on right now, and it's, it's really exciting, especially being a metal band that's been around for a while yeah. and been through bands coming and going so many times and just seeing all these fads come and go as, as we went through as a metal band. And now metal sort of having a revival in the U.S. has been been really cool there's like uh, bands like wage war it's weird because we're young but like on the even younger generation they, they put this big wave of metal and it's really great because i'm even hearing it down to like i have younger brothers in high school and i hear them just excited about these metal bands and it's the first time i've heard them talk about new metal bands in a long time so it's really cool to, that there's a spike in metal right now yeah new generation coming along it's what we need yeah, yeah, it's great. And they're great, too. They're really, really great bands. And for you guys, would mean more fans as well. <laughs> yeah, now it's the old, the old fat dudes that come on stage and <laughs> show, show them what we've learned over the years. Show them how it's done. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, one question we ask every big band is, do you remember your very first gig with Miss May I? Oh, yeah, for sure. We, uh, well, Miss May I, cool fact, is my first band. It's all of our first bands except Ryan. The only child I've ever played was just, like these guys. We, uh, yeah, I remember we, there's only like, no one came. It was probably maybe a handful of friends and then the rest, there was like 30 people there with maybe five friends <laughs> and the rest was like moms and dads and brothers and sisters. And we were in high school and I actually remember not wanting to play another show after we did the show because <laughs> I hated that the uh, lights were in my face. And I couldn't see the crowd, and I did it hot, and like made me feel very awkward. And I remember getting off stage and being like, "Wow, we're never doing that again." I hated that. Little did I know. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it, there's a, there is a video of it that exists, and it will never see the light of day. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to look that up, but it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. A little stage presence goes a long way. Oh, yeah. That is brilliant. It's like headbanging sideways. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, everyone's got that first gig, and it's always fantastic to hear. All right, man. Yeah, I will say again, this album is out right now. It is blowing heads, blowing minds. We cannot wait to see it. Uh, so for this tour, are we playing this entire album in full, or are we going to get some old stuff, some new stuff? What's going on? Um, well, since we're headlining... Um which this is actually our first time headlining too within like the last 
five years. Mm. We on Saturday and side we just really started bringing back headliners. So we're really focusing a lot on Saturday and side, um, especially on what we're doing right now. But since we haven't been Australian a long time, we're definitely making a longer and very, very diverse set with some weird ones mm. in there. But we're really excited because some of these songs we've never even played there. So it'll, it'll be great. We have like two records that's never even seen Australia. <laughs> well, yeah. it'll, it'll be a good time. Uh, that's yeah, that sounds fantastic. And yeah, it has definitely been a while. Oh, I can't, I cannot even, I cannot wait. And I, I think we did like one headliner one off when we did a Parkway Drive tour there, but we've never really mm. done a headliner headliner. Yeah, so I, is... I can't even imagine how the show's going to be. And I've heard Australian headliners for some of our friends' bands have just been such a good time. So yeah, this is um, this is the big leagues, man. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, the album is out now. Uh, right now, and it is doing fantastically. You guys are going to be in the country from the 20th of November, which is just around the corner. Uh, 20th to the 26th, Brisbane, Newcastle, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Perth. We cannot wait. But uh, yeah, enjoy your time in Australia, and hopefully we will have a chat soon. All right, Elliot, sounds good, man. I'll talk to you soon. Brilliant. Thanks very much.